life, that you, because you are the only thinker in your mind, that you get to choose the focus of your attention, and, and that is where your true power lies. In every single situation, in every now moment, you always have a choice. How am I going to relate to what's going on in front of my nose? How am I going to deal with this? Am I going to be focusing on all the, the, the positive in this situation, or am I going to be focusing on all the negative in this situation? We, we, in every now moment, we have that choice. And that choice is actually what determines our experience and our frequency and our vibrations and what we attract more of. So, so, so I think that the key for me, the power of this book, is that to, to, to understand that you, you truly are the choice maker in your life. Mm, perfect. Yeah, and we consciously make that choice every moment of the day exactly. on what we want to retain in our minds. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, so and, and, and unfortunately, I mean, you know, you know, Deborah, I'm a coach and I talk to people every day. And uh, because we're unconscious of this mechanism, that we spend so much of our life force, our mental energy, our life energy, whatever you want to call it, y- using this power unwisely because we're, we're not aware, we're not conscious enough of the mechanism. So, so becoming conscious of this and then starting to work with it, it's just, for me, it's been the greatest joy of my life to be able to do that, to, to understand right. that I have the power to, to change my experience. Mm. And isn't that really why we're here on Earth? Mm-hmm. other than the ultimate getting back to the love that we already are, but to really um, all the experiences really bring us back to our our thoughts and what mm-hmm. we've created and mm-hmm. that we can really create a new reality. Mm-hmm. It's all up to us. No one else is in charge of our thoughts. Mm-hmm. It's, well, it's again, quite... just as you're, you're the title of your show, Love by Intuition, I mean that the nature of reality uh, God is all, and God is good, and God is love and truth, and all of this. That that um, that our it's our journey, as you say, our, our challenge and journey to to become more and more in alignment with that, if we want to experience and be that. And so we have to focus our attention on that, as you say. That that is our challenge, instead right. of getting getting lost in all. <laughs> <laughs> the glamour, <laughs> the stuff around us. Right, right. And I, I remember one of the statements that um, Byron Katie has made is, I mean, the steps, but the one that says, how would you feel mm. if you let that thought go? Mm. And it could be around stress around money, stress around one of the kids or Mm. the family itself. It could be a whole host of things. Mm. But when you actually say that sentence and take whatever topic that concerns you and take it off the table, take it off your thoughts, it's like, oh, my gosh, I am free. Exactly. And yet we can go back. We can go back to the same thoughts over and over again, over even though we take that again. moment. So we have to make that conscious well, choice when we are in that energy and feel that freedom hmm. to expand that freedom so that and repattern so we can be in that energy hmm. instead of the hamster. Absolutely. Well, actually, there is a chapter in the book. That each chapter is the power of different things and there is a chapter in the in the book that's called the power of release of letting go yes so so it, it, it's one of the techniques that came through with this channeling of this powerful message is that as you just were saying how much time energy mental space heart energy we waste clinging to things that do not serve us anymore and that this releasing letting go Psychologically, physically, mentally, it—I uh, mean, it's—it's it's not only a relief, but it also opens us up to receiving new good into our lives. So, so it's—it has many benefits. I mean, just think about it in terms of relationships. How how much of a time we cling to relationships that no longer serve us and no longer serve the other people either. Right. Right. 
or create different thoughts in our mind around how someone else is feeling about the relationship exactly. when we're not in their mind. So we, it could be that they have, they have no, um, no thoughts around what we think they're thinking of whatsoever. Mm. <laughs> we do that all the time. All the it's, time. It's human nature, but it's 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 really humorous when you think about it. Mm. What we think someone else may be thinking, mm. and um, and it's we're way off the mark. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I always tell so let's like get what? back to focus because yes. that is. I agree with you that focus is key. So. Mm. If someone is inter, like for example, if someone wants to start, you know, a new business, and maybe mm-hmm. they're a practitioner and they have a few modalities, but they mm-hmm. have, I mean, how many women do we know, and those of us that have experienced, where you're in a corporate environment, and you're making that the money that is needed to live in the reality, if you want to call this reality mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. Earth. Uh, and being single, like you with your three boys, I think mm-hmm. of myself with my three girls, mm-hmm. you know, to actually step out of that to start a new business. Mm-hmm. You know, so many of us going back, I think, you know, you were focused on, oh, my gosh, the fear of what happens if it doesn't work, or right, all right. these things. But yeah. knowing the focus that you speak of in the book, The Road to Power, mm-hmm. If we knew then what we know now, we could probably have saved ourselves a lot of angst and worry and concern, and which all fits into the fear instead of love. Mm-hmm. Um, how you know, speaking of that, and speaking for yourself, I'm sure you had those feelings, and we maybe all didn't do. know about the focus until this book arrived <laughs> to you. To your mind. De- it, it's definitely true that uh, you could say to be torn between survival especially as you say single parents with with kids is, i mean there are other the basic needs that have to be met and then there is if you have a passion for doing something nif- different new how do you how do you bridge that how do you maintain yes. you know so, so it's definitely challenging but i would say in terms of the focus uh, the focus tool, if we, there's a way that I usually sort of coach clients uh, when, when they come to me with this. Is it's, if you say you could be problem-oriented or solution-oriented. Um, so so you, you could say that whatever the situation is, reality is what it is. Let's say that, that, that doesn't change, but how you relate to it. In other words, if you're problem-oriented, you, you will be focusing your attention on everything that you don't like about the situation and all your fears, as you say, and everything that can go wrong. So you're putting energy into that, and you will get more of that. Same reality. We haven't changed anything in the outer, but you could also be, as I say, solution-oriented. In other words, you could think of all the potential, all the things that you could learn here, how, how you could handle it best, all the, all the things that you could gain from this situation, and that's a completely different energy. You can see it's a much brighter, mm-hmm. higher, more positive energy. And so sure. if you have that energy, then because of law of attraction and all that, you will attract uh, circumstances, events, and people who match that energy. So, so that's a key to dealing with whatever situation that you're in. You will see that if you can switch your focus to... You know, what is the good here? I, I also say it's really, really interesting to notice, for example, if you, you, if you get yourself on that frequency, the, the frequency of what's the good that can come out of this, it's really interesting to know, notice the emails that you get, the phone calls. Uh, the things that come to us, actually, it's not by accident. It's reflecting right. back to us what our focus is. I mean, I can see that you, whenever my frequency is really stable at a high level, the most amazing things turn up. Exactly. So, 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 so we we a little bit have the problem that we we forget that it's not the outer, it's the inner that's the cause. The outer is effect. So you could say a challenging work situation, or you want to change your career, whatever whatever the the outer challenge circumstances, it's the inner frequency that's going to determine the course of that change, the direction it's going to go in. And so it's wiser to spend more time working on changing the inner than trying to move things around in the outer. 
Well said. Well, we are up on a break. Everyone stay with us. Um, We have more with author Barbara Berger from Denmark, (laughs) American-born. We'll be back in a moment. Take a journey to a place of the divine love within with Deborah Beauvais on the Love by Intuition show, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Eastern. Our message is love in the purest form. The light within us all is a guide to recall our beginning, to learn to love self and humankind, and to feel the higher power of our own divinity. To attract love, one needs to be love. Come join us and step into this glorious vibration called love. Ever wonder what it's like to have your own radio show? Well, wonder no longer, because you can dip into the radio airwaves by being host for the day on syndicated Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. It's a fabulous way to get your radio feet wet. It's an opportunity to market your business, modality, or book. Have a guest, mention a sponsor, and take callers. Or you may want to facilitate a lesson by going solo. It's up to you. Listeners can be online, mobile, in cars with Bluetooth, or listen through Amazon's Echo by asking, Alexa, play Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Network. For more details, go to DreamVision7Radio.com and click on Host for the Day. After narrowly surviving the attack on Sandy Hook Elementary, first grade teacher Caitlin Roig DeVellis was left searching for answers that would never come. Eventually, she chose to focus on questions that could be answered. How do I make sure this tragedy doesn't define us? How do we get our control back? Those two questions led her to found the 501c3 nonprofit organization, Classes for Classes. When gifts poured into their classroom, she decided they would help someone else by paying it forward and being kind. This developed into a social network which allows K-8 through classrooms to connect so that every student in the United States can learn these crucial lessons. Classes for Classes' mission is to build students' social-emotional intelligence by connecting them to care. All C4C projects are crowdfunded. Any teacher in the U.S. can visit classesforclasses.org. That's classes, the number four, classes.org. Sign up today. Looking for a fun and relaxing getaway? Omega Rest and Rejuvenation Retreats are a great way to unwind and renew your spirit. Stroll through the garden, relax by the lake, or try a daily yoga or movement class. You can stretch your body, quiet your mind, and do as much or as little as you choose. Located in Rhinebeck, New York, just 90 miles north of New York City, Omega's natural environment and quiet pace allow for extraordinary experiences to unfold. Learn more at eomega.org. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Welcome back. If you'd like to get in touch with Barbara Berger, you can go on her site. It's Beam Team, Beam, B-E-A-M, Team as a Team. Beam Team, just as it sounds, dot com. We're talking about the road to power, fast food for the soul. Uh, it has uh, a million copies have been sold worldwide, worldwide to date. And it's been, <laughs> got to adjust my mouth here, um, with a brain. Uh, <laughs> and it's now being released in the U.S. again, which is an amazing thing. You know, one of the things I was thinking about during break, we were talking about if someone is wanting to take that leap of faith and start a new business mm-hmm. and maybe they're tied to the corporate world and they've got kids for responsibility and they're single uh, parent. Uh, what I found, Barbara, and I'm sure you did too, and for those out there that are wondering how to test it, if you wonder if what you're doing or are about to do is the right path, you usually feel excited, and Mm. that's how I felt when I started the Mm. station 10 Mm. years ago. I had no idea what I was doing at that juncture, but Mm. I was excited. Yeah, you had that powerful energy. Yes, and there was fear in there too, but the Mm. excitement 
we're stronger. Mm. And that's a that's a little test because if you are in fear and then you're thinking, oh my God, you know, blah blah mm. blah, mm. then you know it's not the time or it's not the business to stop. But if there's excitement, 